So in previous lessons, we've talked about some of the different access modifiers that are available to us in our classes. And there are two that you've seen previously. So you've seen public and you've seen private. And now I want to talk about protected. So three different access modifiers that help us identify the items in our classes and how we want um, different members to access those. So if a class has public members, they're accessible anywhere and wherever that app has a reference to an object. So can they can have any access that they want, basically. So if there's a reference to an object of that class or one of its derived classes, then public gives everyone access. Private is the exact opposite end of the spectrum. So a class's private members are only accessible within the class itself. So in the case of our previous little coding exercise using inheritance, if we had a private member of class full time, then only class full time would be able to see that member. Whereas a public member can be seen by any of the classes. So let's talk about protected. Protected gives us a middle ground. So with our idea of inheritance, right? A, a private member is only accessible within the class. A base class's private members, they are inherited by its derived classes, but they're not directly accessible if they're marked private. So if we do want to make them accessible, then we use the protected keyword. So access is given to derived classes and of course its own class. So this offers us kind of an intermediate level of access between public and private. A base class's protected members can be accessed by members of that base class and by members of the derived class. So it's important to think about when we're creating uh, variables or we're setting up methods inside of our different classes what level of access do I want other parts of the program having uh, since classes are kind of designed to have this idea of um, obfuscation or, or code hiding? We don't need to know what's going on under the hood. I just need access to the things that I need access to to do my job, right? So thinking about public, private, protected, and, and which access modifiers to use, hopefully this gives you an overview of of what we should do and, and what we should use. 